we'll see a lot of the, the different varietals of agave, which come from Oaxaca for the mezcales. There are 27 different uh, agaves allowed for the production of mezcal. Each one of them adds its own flavor profile, aromatics, texture, sensation. And then we have the tequila, which is only one plant, which is called the uh, blue agave. And it's the Tequilana Weber uh, Variedad Azul, which is the blue variety. Here we have the, you know, Blanco, like I said, there, there is no aging at all, or Plata or Silver. Uh, there, people call it uh, different names. From one year to three years, it's an Añejo. From three years and up, it becomes an extra Añejo. And then there is also one more category, which is called uh, Avocado. The, the difference in the quality, which is uh, this one, makes those that don't really keep that much uh, track uh, about it because the 100% by law has to be uh, produced and bottled in Mexico. The mixto can be bottled anywhere. The CRT is the Consejo Regulador del Tequila, which means that they regulate, they make the laws, and they, they're very, very strict. Right now, it's actually the most strict uh, alcoholic beverage in the world. Of the different tequilas, we have the Blancos, Reposados, Añejos, and Extra Añejos, some cream, some flavor tequilas. Then we're going to make actually a cocktail on that side of the room point. So a lot of the times you're smelling cinnamon, you're smelling nutmeg, you're smelling uh, citrusy, yep. More like uh, herbal notes with a little bit of a uh, fruitiness to it. What do you get in this one? Uh, cucumber and, and bell peppers. Yeah. How about the flavor? The process, it's going to change, it's going to change the flavor profile. Yeah, so uh, how about the, the flavor? Bananas, like when you fry the bananas, you know, you, you have the quince, you have the apple, the guava, it's a little bit fruity, tropical, and creamy in the mouth. Now, this is a very unique process that they use for this one. This one is from Oaxaca too, but this is a mezcal. A little bit smoky, right, but that, not too much, it's just like a hint, and it's because it's the, the spadin, which is a different variety. So what are some of the flavors? Aromas? Huh? Vanilla. Vanilla? Yep. It was uh, today a very exciting moment where uh, we had the possibility to learn a lot about um, you know, tequila from uh, Junior Merino and uh, mezcal as well. Uh, I think that um, none of the members of the audience you know, had that uh, level of knowledge about um, you know, two specific spirits that are very important in Mexico and definitely here in the uh, USA. Here. So. Just put it on top and then you're gonna hit it a little bit soft. Like that. Okay? So that means it seals. Fold it like that. It's a up, down, up, down, on the side, like that. Front, back. We have spent some time with uh, Junior Marino and his team to create um, specific cocktails for our trade show, uh, the IFT, that is going to take place in June in New Orleans. And today we had the whole team of Simrise uh, making the cocktails, so getting familiarized with the ingredients um, and the cocktails that are going to be, be served to promote our competency around citrus, around vanilla, around tropical fruits, and even around onion.
what family adapted. And... <laughs> a little bit of everywhere, but basically they're all junior. Um, we have, starting here, the um, the alote, the corn. It has an aioli that's made with a touch of mezcal. So again, you guys, careful because you're going to eat alcohol as well, like you don't have enough. So it's got a touch of queso cotija on the outside and some chipotle powder. Then the salad has the white dressing there, has some Leblanc cachaça in it, and it's infused with golden raisins. And the other one's just a um, pomegranate balsamic vinaigrette. You have one? No. Oh. With different, uh, like a uh, pico de gallo, but with corn. I think the experience was fantastic, uh, very unique. Um, I'm a food chemist by training, so of course I knew a little bit about tequila. Um, I have been traveling to Mexico actually from a business perspective quite a number of times. Um, so tequila is not unknown to me, but I was very surprised today about the very many um, flavor differences uh, going from, uh, from, from variety to variety. Um, I think it was very educational what we learned um, and of course in addition the food uh, I think was out of this world, it was a very good fit. I think our team enjoyed it very much uh, um, and so we are looking very much forward uh, to the IFT in June uh, we are going, where we are going to present something very similar to our customers.